All right, sales pitch of the week, Craig. Association labels, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of them. Yes, I think association labels is one of these uh, features that people have put in the too confusing category for now, so they haven't looked at it. I want to highlight what the benefit is, uh, especially for uh, workflows and automation, and then also mention what a problem there is that still exists. Firstly, association labels, what are they? They're a way to set an association between two objects. For example, contact and a deal. So a contact has a deal, might have multiple deals, but on one of the deals you set an association label. In most of the examples you see, they talk about things like, oh, decision maker, influencer, as an association label for that, you know, that contact with that particular deal. So you can look at a contact and say, oh, they're an influencer on these deals or they're a decision maker on these deals. Okay, that's fine. Another use case, which I think is more compelling, is when you want to selectively update some deals associated with a contact in as part of a contact workflow. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you've got uh, a number of products that you're selling at your company. You've got a contact and they've, they've got two deals, one for product A and one for product B. They go to the website and, and maybe those deals are just kind of initial discovery stage. They go to the website and they fill out, I want a one-on-one demo with product B. So that's a form submit essentially against the contact and you're like, oh great. That means product B has moved along from just interest to maybe purchase intent. Let's see. How can you automate just updating just that associated deal? From the contact form submit, you want to update that deal and move it along a pipeline stage. You can't at the moment because if you try and update the associated deals, by default, you'd update all of the deals. But with association labels, you could have a association on the deal. You could say, oh, this is a product A deal. This is a product B deal. And you could say, I'm going to update any deals that have an association of product B. So I've got an example here in the show notes about how you can selectively update, say, deals against a contact based on association labels. And so you'll get something like this in your workflow. So that's very handy because we're finding this increasingly. This is the problem. I've got a contact with multiple deals or multiple tickets. How do I use a workflow just to update a few of them, not all of them? Association labels are the answer to that at the moment. Okay, so that's great. What's the problem? The problem here is that you can't actually automatically set association labels on deals or associated objects. You've got to do it manually. So that means if you are disciplined enough and when the deals the deals have been created, you manually go through and set association labels, then this will work in workflows. But what we're crying out for, and in fact, if you look at the community threads on it, people are begging for this. They just want on the workflow when you create a deal, because quite often the deal is created from a contact workflow. This contact filled out a form, great, automatically create this deal. We want to set association labels at that time. If we could do that, that unlocks an enormous amount of efficiency on updating and keeping your deals in check. So just want to highlight that. I think this is a big feature for sales. It applies to tickets and other areas as well, but particularly deals is where we're seeing this. Once they've fixed this, and the good news is that feature is being reviewed so that you can add association labels automatically as part of workflows, the unlock here is going to be really handy. I don't know, is this a scenario you come across, Ian? So you know what's interesting here, Craig, is the scenario we've come across is association labels for, let's say we've got a customer that's a conveyancer and they've got a deal where they're doing the conveyancing so they've got the customer and then they've got the an association with the like the real estate or the the person who's giving the contract or the lawyer so there are these different associations that's kind of how we've started to use it or you know there are associations with building managers for people that are building and who are outside mm. of the organization so that they keep a track of, hey, here's the person we need to talk to to get this stuff done that's related to this deal. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Slightly different. Right. So you're actually going back from the other way. Correct. You might have a deal workflow or a ticket workflow and you only want to contact a certain number of associated that's contacts. Exactly Not all the associated right. contacts, just few. Again, association labels there. Be really handy. So, but that's the problem you've got to manually add those associations but you know what this is a great start i have to say Mm. it is a great start